Welcome to my podcast, Live from the Heart. I'm excited to talk to you today about love. I'm Anne-Claire Meret, I'm a coach, I'm a teacher, I'm a writer, and I'm a lover. Maybe above all, I'm a lover. I've been dedicating a lot of time to experience a deeper, deeper love, uh, just a deeper understanding of relationships and experiencing love in the way that I feel I can touch the divine and that I can feel deeply understood and supported by my lovers but also I would say by life because I would take the analogy that if I can relate to my lovers in the most beautiful way I can actually experience life in a in a deeper way in the sense that I can receive deeper the gifts of life and I can open up to what's possible in this life and let life flow through me in the most beautiful way I'm going to give another analogy. I'm a dancer. I dance Zouk, Brazilian Zouk. And I've had a beautiful teacher, Camila, explaining to me that this is all about making yourself available for the movement of life inside of you. The movement that is um, an invitation from your partner. As, as a follower, I'm invited by the leader. But this is a movement of life through me. So this is exactly how I feel regarding love and regarding relationships. And the more I am skilled at creating beautiful relationships, the more I am skilled at life. This is exactly what's happening in my life. And the better my relationship gets to be, the more money I, I make, the more creative I feel, the more supported I am, the bolder I am, the more brave and courageous and it's a beautiful journey and I'm super grateful for it. So let's talk about a minute, a minute about um, the difficulties that a lot of people are encountering these days. One main difficulty is the ability to find someone. I know so many friends, especially women, who say this is so difficult to find a good man. Well, let me tell you, I disagree with that. I have two partners and they're wonderful. And I don't find it difficult to find good men because I believe that I'm a unicorn. I'm going to talk about that. And as a unicorn, I can spot other unicorns and I can unicorn farm. Well, I love the word unicorn because it's gender neutral. <laughs> yeah, this is me saying that. And I've been interested in prince farming for a while. Uh, this is the work of Alison Armstrong and how women can get them the best out of men because they create a beautiful environment for them to thrive and actually men can do the same for women and they can queen farm or princess farm but i i like the word unicorn because it puts us kind of the same all on the same line because we can all farm each other to give the best in this life um, so i have a lot of successful women around me who are pretty picky and um, yeah, they just keep saying that there are no good men or that they're not available. And I keep telling them, well, if you have a pattern that you, in a repetitive way, find men which are not available, then maybe there is something else. Maybe actually there is a possibility that they're not ready for a relationship with you. They might be ready for a relationship with you later when they know you better. Or they might be ready for a relationship with another woman when the time will be right because it will be the right woman. So how can we as women or as men, as unicorns, help someone understand that their life can be better with us because we're absolutely awesome. So this is actually what I'm going to share in my next course called The Unicorn's Path, which starts this Friday. It's four live workshops. And I'm super excited about this course because there's so much of me, so much of the knowledge that I've acquired the past few years, so much love in there and so much depth that, yeah, I hope you're going to join because it's going to be epic. And I also think that, as I said, improving my love life has improved every area of my life. I believe that there is something really magical in that is that when you're managing to access a level of success in one area, you can replicate it in other areas of your life. So all areas of your life are benefiting from it. It's interesting. I heard something 
one day someone said, we're not sacrificing time when we work in an area of life because we're bettering ourselves for all other areas. And I totally trust that too. And life is so much better when we share it with someone because we get more inspired, we get more supported. Um, I used to not think that because I'm very much a freedom lover. I was very attached to my freedom and I didn't want to give it away. But actually I learned that it's not or, it's not freedom or healthy attachment and love and support. It's end. And I can create on my own terms without having to fight for my freedom. It's totally compatible so this i'm going to teach too because i feel very free in my love life because i get to create every single element of it uh what else did i want to say well a lot of people believe that they cannot make a relationship which is tailor made i think they just lack the skill set of asking the right questions and how to invite courage to actually you know get vulnerable and ask for what they really want instead of um, thinking that it's not possible to request something and making a story in their head yeah well a lot of things are implicitly um, damaging relationships today but if you make them explicit it's going to be so much easier so honesty is a requirement and bravery so maybe you don't want to make the same mistakes that you made before. Maybe you want to improve your current relationship. Maybe you want to not be single anymore and you want to find love. I got you. I have a free gift for you. I don't know if you've already seen it. Maybe you have. It's called Unlock the Love You Deserve. You can find it in my bio on Instagram. You can find it on my website. It's a freebie. It's a 20-minute video with a little workbook with an assessment. So you can really just um, yeah, ask yourself right questions so that you can move forward with your love life. And if you want to dive deeper, you can join the Unicorns Path. I wish I had those tools before. Um, I have given my power away in the past. I was so eager to make it work sometimes that I completely diluted myself my cat agrees with that and I could have done better I didn't know how to honor my values and my boundaries and I had no idea I could have exactly what I want so this is what I'm currently experiencing um a question I want to ask you in this podcast is which couple inspire you and why and for me, it's been a difficult question for a while because um, some people, they did not inspire me very much or maybe a little bit was inspiring me, but not the rest. And I've learned how to take, you know, ingredients here and there to make my own recipe in the end. And today I would say that I'm inspiring myself because I've trained my brain to imagine the best and then imagine the best behind the best and then what else can happen when this will happen? What's the next step? So I would say that I'm the most creative person in the room that imagine the best scenario in the best movies possible for my life. And I intend to make it happen. And I'm open to life showing me how good it can be and how much better it can be than my imagination. And because there is nobody with my unique set of experiences, my skills, my desires, then, you know, nobody can show me the way. Just like I cannot show you the way for you. You're going to have to figure it out by yourself. But I understand what a unicorn goes through to, un to figure out the path. And I've asked myself so many valuable questions that I'm going to pass on to you. And you're going to realize that, that you can too manifest unicorns farm unicorns and support overall i would say not only your partners to become unicorns but also everyone in your environment you're going to become the most supportive person that they can have in their lives yeah this is it took me years to create this course because i had to become a coach and understand a set amount of things about life and about love to be able to share that and to encounter some challenges and overcome them and uh, yeah, I have in the past created um, 
a free program. It was called Conscious Loving. I made it in French and in English with Christian the year after we met. It's no longer available. And I also wrote a book called Foreplay, The Art of Creating Your Love Life. It was in 2019 in French. Um, I removed it from my website because I want to write it again and I want to publish it again in English and in French very soon. And then I created a program with Christian, my husband. It was two years ago. It's called Empowered Relationships. It's available in English with French subtitles. And yeah, it's been, I've been so passionate about this topic. I think this is the topic that I talk the most about with my friends on WhatsApp. And I believe we are all unicorns and not everyone dares to reveal their potential because we don't know how, because it's scary, because of other people's judgment, because of so many reasons. So instead we are frustrated and I believe that these frustrations keep us stuck not only in love but also in other areas of love. So it's a pity because it means we kind of settle in life instead of asking for more. And the more you embody the fullness of who you are and the more you're like full of love, the more you give to the world and the more you receive from the world. And when you live like that, you know, kind of an extraordinary life according to your own, um, your own criteria, you know, you're going to meet extraordinary people too. And you're going to create extraordinary relationships. And I want nothing less for you. I want only the best. So I'm going to help you understand some concepts in the program about how to become a unicorn and how to unicorn farm and practice because it takes practice. And just like a lot of things, it's not easy. Just like it's not easy to become an entrepreneur and to stay an entrepreneur and to make money on the long run. Just like it's not easy to write a book, just like it's not easy to, to recreate yourself over and over again, because there is no end game, you know, you're going to create a beautiful relationship and then you're going to have bumps in the road and then you're going to need the tools that I'm going to transmit you so that you can recreate and reinvent and overcome challenges and be creative again. And from that place, you can really face anything together as unicorns, you know? A unicorn team maybe i should have merchandising <laughs> t-shirts and stuff bags i already have bags actually for my friends and the participants of my retreats so it's a course which is for singles for people in relationships whether you're monogamous or non-monogamous i don't mind um you have to have energy to do this course because this is coaching and coaching re requires energy so that you can ask yourself deep questions. If you're super tired, if you're overwhelmed by life, if you're in burnout, that might not be the best course for you. But otherwise, this is a course for everyone, whether you're 18, whether, 18, whether you're 70, really it's for you too. So it's for you if you want to have better skills at relationships and also they are greater, you know, because you know you deserve better. So you want to create better. You want to be actively creating better for your love life. So that's what I want to I want to tell you. Also, if you feel that you've been hurt and if you feel that you've been a victim in previous relationships, it's a good cause for you because it brings you back into your power. It takes you back from a, to a place where you take responsibility for what you are, are going to create in the future. I've been also wronged in my previous relationships, but I've participated into this dynamic and I've decided at some point that I'm going to do differently. And because I did differently, I got a different response with other partners then. You know, it's, I just made it happen that things changed. So that's basically what I wanted to tell you today. Um, there will be four workshops. They're going to be live and uh, they're going to be available afterwards in replay with workbooks. First workshop, let me take my notes and I'm going to share with you a bit more things. First workshop is about becoming the lover that you're meant to be. The unicorn is for you and you, you know. We're going to dive deeper into your self-esteem, confidence building, cultivating positive mindset, having a vision for your life, being radically honest. We're going to rewire your beliefs and so many other things. Then 
we're gonna learn how to encourage the best in the unicorns you're going to meet, you're going to manifest, or that you're going to reveal around you. Because you probably have a lot of unicorn around you, but if you're not farming them yet, or gardening, you know, making it possible, they're not revealing themselves. So how do we create a prince or a princess? And how do we keep a positive mindset when things get a little bit more difficult? How do we stay grateful? How do we let go of resentment? How do we celebrate the differences instead of being spotting what's wrong about them, you know? And then we're going to talk about the power of co-creating with a vision and how to create co-create conscious transactions because relationships are transactionals. Yes, we would like to love unconditionally. In, in, in one hand, we can. But in a, on another hand, if we create a daily life, there are transactions. And having conscious, consciousness on that is super important. How do we keep meeting each other's needs? How do we re rewire beliefs so that we can function in the long run? There are so many things I want to share about that. I'm also going to share a fair amount of anecdotes and how I overcame a lot of things. And there will be a lot of coaching tools in my trainings. I'm also going to share lessons from non-monogamy, for which are actually useful for every couple. How to create safety in relationships. We're going to dive deeper into intimacy and vulnerability and how to make a relationship last. And once again, we're going to rewire a lot of beliefs that you might have that I have, I still have a lot of beliefs to rewire. But now that I have the awareness, I'm actively working on that every single day. And it doesn't even feel like an effort right now. It just feels like this is something I want to do because I want to give my best. So if you'd like to join, feel free to sign up before the start. Uh, we might keep it open a few more days so you can, you can join us a little bit later too. Some questions I've had are, what if I'm French and I won't understand everything? So, because I have a lot of French people in my audience, everything will have subtitles in French and the workbooks will be available in both languages, in English and in French. There will be replays which will be posted right after the workshops in English and then we will add the subtitles within 48 hours maximum. The workbooks will be available a few hours after every workshop in both languages. You can ask me questions below each video and I'm the one responding to all the questions. How long are the workshops? They're going to be 90 minutes to two hours. I don't know exactly because it's the first time that I'm giving them. So approximately an hour and a half to two hours. And then it's going to require from you time to dive deeper. How much time? Honestly, I don't know. A few hours, probably two to three hours after each workshop so that you can dive deeper into the questions. That's why I created the workbooks. It will be really easy for you to dive deeper. You can download the workbooks. You can print them if you want. You can write in them. And I invite you to listen to the first level of answers, you know, and then dive deeper. What else is there? And what else is there? So for a few weeks, it's going to occupy your mind, you know? So make space for that. Just, just clear your agenda and maybe decide to have one day per week or half a day per week where you're going to ask yourself a lot of questions about love. Just give yourself this gift to make it a priority because this is how you're going to see more changes. And then um, if you want to go even deeper and dedicate more time because you actually have a lot of time these days, I will also suggest a list of resources. So you might want to read additional books or to start inquire other things. So I'm going to share with you all the best resources that I've been using myself. And yeah, it's top notch. Like I've been diving so deep for many years. I'm going to share all the best stuff. So that's about it for today. If you have more questions, please feel free to send me email or also to contact me on Instagram. I'm here for you. I got you. And I'm sorry if you're suffering currently in your relationship. I know how it feels. If you feel helpless and if you feel that you've tried everything, well, have you tried embodying the unicorn that you are or not yet? Because maybe it's worth trying. I will be happy to see you in my course. We start on Friday. And yeah, let's be unicorns together. I send you lots of love.
And if you've enjoyed this episode, share it to your communities and friends, single or in a relationship who want to improve them. And you can give it five stars on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts because it helps us being more visible. Thank you so much. See you next time.